So, as I think that you have all know that today's my topic, especially it's related with the recognizing the anxiety and the why we do feel the worry. First of all, that the, you might feel that the, to touching with the, this topic, past several years, <coughs> I was involved, especially involved in the dealing with the people, especially who had the facing a lot of the difficulties, I mean the mental difficulties, stress and the depression. So, I've studied the Buddhism so many years, more than 20 years, I've studied the Buddhism. So what I find it out there is that there's a Buddhism talks and the deals lots with the lots with the overcoming the negative emotions without touching any religion issue. So that's why I feel that these parts can contribute a lot to the people who have to challenge the stress, who have to challenge with the anxiety. So that's why first of thing that the recognizing, the, as you can see, the first of thing in our life that the, we have to know that the, how we have to recognize the anxiety and the worries. So that's why we have to get into the fact. There is a one, I will tell you the one story, there is a one king. Generally when the people ask you, how are you? Ni hao ma? You will say, oh ha, Oh, yeah. If someone asks the Ni Hao Ma, if you say Wo Pu Hao, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely they will ask you the Ui Sima, isn't it? <laughs> but someone, if asks you the Ni Hao Ma, when you say Wo Han Hao, definitely they will not ask the Ui Sima Ni Hao. <laughs> Never ask that question. If, you, if someone asks that question, you feel the strange. But I want to know that why people feel the strange. Now you will thinking that I will ask you a very strange question. You feel this question very strange because you don't have the answer. Genuinely, everybody needs to find happiness, peace. That's why if, I, if someone got that, they will never ask the why. So now the, here's the point come that the, how can we overcome these worries? So that's why before that we have to get the fact. Like the fact that the, what is the anxiety? What is the worry? Why do we worry? From it's a very simple that the Buddha said the one thing. Because the one came, person came toward the Buddha and asked the Buddha, asked the one question to the Buddha. He asked the Buddha that he want to live happily. So Buddha said the one thing. So Buddha said the very simple word. Buddha tell that then remove your eye and remove your my two things. No. Here that now one thing you have to know that the one thing that the what is anxiety? What is a worry? You feel that. You experience that. When you come to express, you feel difficulties. So today the getting the fact we have to know the what is anxiety? What is a worry? Then the second question comes the why we to feel the worry. So if you look at the anxiety and the worry, it's made by the, our own habit. So it can be said that the Everything, what we do the repeatedly, it becomes a habit. Whatever we do, we do it repeatedly again and again, that will become the, our habit. So that's why the one thing is clear that the, whatever the habit is, we can overcome it. But a lot of people fail to overcome this habit. You have to look at the, our mind. First we have to know the, our mind. When the, our mind is conditioned is in the very wrong way, then it will produce the anxiety and the worry. So. Anxiety and the worries are not other than any, not other than the condition the, our mind very wrongly. Mind is a very strange. There is a one story. One student went to the one master's place and asked the master to teach him the meditation. Master told him the meditation is a very simple. You can meditate anything, whatever you like. But the only one thing, you cannot think the monkey at all. Other than then, you can meditate anything, whatever you like. Now you will know that when the student went to the meditate, what comes in his mind. That's the complexity of the mind. That's the strangeness of the mind. So that's why the, when we condition the mind is a very wrongly, that will produce the anxiety and the worry. So when the Buddha was telling the remove the I and the my, the happiness will come. So that's why now the, first I ask you the three questions. Do you feel that I will fail or I may fail? Do you feel that I cannot become better than him or her? Do you feel that the, my relative, my friend get hurt or will you will lose them 
we are conditioning the own mind in the very wrong way. I always say that the Buddhism is a very simple. When you get that reality, it's very simple. Once you could not get the reality, everything is complicated. Because if I ask the question two plus two, it is simple or what? Yeah. Difficult question. Simple. Why it's so simple? Because you have the answer. If you don't have the answer, this is a complicated question. So once the reality, when you get the reality to close, everything is so simple. So Buddhism is a touching people, teaching us to touch the reality, see the reality. It's very simple. So that's why the, now the thinking that the focusing on the self. Focusing on the self and the, it will condition the, our mind in a very different way. So that the conditioning the, our mind is a different way. So it creates the worry, anxiety. So that's why Buddha told to remove the I and the my. I think you have heard about the be happy, don't worry. Everyone says that. But difficulty is the how to stop the worrying. How to become the happy? That's the top big question. So that's the big, big question that how to stop the worrying. So that's why you will feel the very helpless. But actually it's, a not, actually it's a not helpless. Might be difficult because it becomes your old habit, worrying, getting the anxiety, become the, your one old habit. To overcome the old habit, it's a quite difficult, but not a impossible. But the one very funny thing about the worry, I will tell the one thing. Just look back one or two years back. I think you have worried the quite what you have worried two or three years back, I can assure that there's more than the 70 percent never comes. So generally, whatever we worry is, maximum, it won't come. From kids to up till now, you just look. So it never comes. Many of the what you worry, it never comes. But still, we are worrying. Now here comes the one question. It never comes, then why we worry? So now the second point is that it doesn't matter why we worry. They say why we are worrying, because of our perspective. That perspective, that's why we are worrying. Our wrong perspective. There is one saying in English, problem is not problem. Perspective towards problem is problem. So that's the wrong perspective. That's why we are worrying. Very simple thing, I will tell you the one thing. If you see as an opportunity, there's a two way of the looking at the opportunity. One sees in the Whenever the pers some person, some people, when they seize the opportunity, when they look at the opportunity, some people, when they look at the opportunity, they will see the difficulties. Some people, when they look at the difficulty, they will see the opportunities. Some people look at the opportunity, seize the difficulty. Some people look at the difficulty, they seize the opportunity. So that's why the Buddha, whatever he sees, he's go totally beyond of the pure and the unpure, totally go beyond on the good and bad. So that's why whatever he sees, everything is perfect. So that's the one, our the wrong perspective. That's what makes a yeah, worry. As I told you before, that's the Buddha's. When they look at the Buddha's, whatever the, his perspective, whatever the, he sees is totally different. So usually, this is the one thing always repeating the centuries and the centuries. When you have to get rid of the worry, when you have to get over the, all the anxiety, you have to become the Buddha. So, now the here's question comes to the why do the we worry? That the perspective, the how we are having the wrong perspective, there I will give you the few examples. Self-confidence and the self-confusion. Discussion, argument, accepting the responsibility, escaping the responsibility. Now you will see that the very simple way that the, what the difference between the discussion and the argument. There are the big difference. Self-confidence and the self-confusion. But the only thing is how it happens, how, it's, how we can generate the self-confidence, how we are generating the self-confusion. That's the way how we see. That depends on the, how we look. Self-confidence and the self-confusion. If you look at these two points, I think you have heard a lot of things that we have to build up the self-confidence. From kids label to from the, I mean the grown-up, till we talked about a lot of things of the self-confidence. How we are generating the self-confusion? Because of the wrong way of the perception, low, wrong way that was seeing the things. So that's why, so that's why the wrong perception, that's why we are worrying. So that's why we're the wrong way of the looking at the issue, wrong way of the looking at the issue, that's a, that's the one call, that's, that's why we are worrying. Generally, one thing that we have to know that the, in our body, system is a very different. Because the, in our body, what we are having is a different nerve systems and the chakras. Body energy movements is a different. There's one big question comes. 
movements of the, our body energy can contribute to overcome the stress and the worry. Whether it can also influence to generate the, our anxiety and the worry. So now the, today my, now the exercise is very simple. That what you have to do is a very simple thing, okay? What you have to do is that, okay? Try to feel what we are saying, that try to feel that there's something insi inside of the, inside of the, our body. Now the very simple way, what you have to do is that you just visualize and the thing that the white rays which goes inside of the, your left nostril with the feeling of the warmness inside of the, your body, okay? You can do that or maybe what you can visualize the very white layer, white light with a very warm entering in your body from your chakra, okay? Mm -hmm. So because the, here it's called that we have the chakras, body have the five chakras, first, second, third and navel and the uh, private part, they will have the five chakras. So that's why the energy moves in our body, positive and negative energy in, moves in our body and comes out and go in from the, these chakras. So that's the maybe exercise that the maybe what you have to do is that, the, okay, just maybe up till the next session, you try to feel that the heats of, heats of heat of the dead white lights coming inside of the, your body, okay? If you are very familiar with the visualizing the Buddha, then very good, just from the Buddha, you just visualize that the white rays coming from the Buddha. <clears throat> if you are not very familiar with the Buddha, just visualize, think the white light, okay? Warm of the white light. <laughs> this is just like, a, I will meet, I will maybe up till the next session, you try it with that, and if you have the, some of the sensation of the body, let me know, okay? Sometimes, some cases, people can feel that the white heat's going into the body. You will feel the heatness and the warmness, in, in especially in this area. Okay, this is just, as exercise, you can do it, okay? Just take it as exercise, okay? Just heat that the warmness, try to feel that the warmness of the, that white light, okay? Which enters from the, your, okay? Crown. Just as exercise. If you're familiar with the Buddha, just think the light's coming from the Buddha, white light. If you're not familiar, just visualize that white. So if you worry something that there's some unfortunate and the things happens in our life, it's like that there's something the unfortunate, something the unwanted thing happens. We worry that the unwanted things, we worry too much about the unwanted things ha might happen in our life. In the reality, in, in case if it happened like that, how we have to do? I will give you the one ex very simple example. There's a true reason make us very unhappy in our life. Once we not get what we really desire, what really what we want. One reason that uh, something happens in our life which we don't want. These two things, if you look at them, all of the, your unhappiness, I think more than 90% is related with the, these two reasons. But one thing we are not knowing that the, we always feel that the, whatever we want, if we get it, we will be the happy. Always we, we feel that the unwanted things happen in our life that will make us unhappy. In the realities, it is little different. Sometimes in our life, even the whatever we wish, we get it, it makes the problem. There is a one king, he prayed for the God and asked to give the power that the whatever he teach, touch may turn into the gold. So then he touches the food, he touches the fruits, and he touches the water, everything turns into the gold. He was so greedy king. You know that story, no? He touches the, his daughter, daughter turned into the gold. Then he recreate the lot. Bottom line is very clear. He got that whatever he wished, he got that whatever he want, but that become the curse, that become the problem. So that's why in our life something unwanted thing happens, whether it's a good or bad, it's, right now it's too early to say. So that's why at the moment, try to enjoy with that. <laughs> Tibetan, we have the one saying, if you have the wealth, enjoy with the having the wealth. If you don't have the wealth, be content with the not having it. Yeah, so that is something we have to do. <laughs> Thinking too much is not a problem at all. Buddha think too much. That's why he achieved the Buddhahood. If he not think too much, he will not achieve the Buddhahood at all. What you think? <laughs> yeah, because the, when he shows the, all these difficulties, problems, suffering, he thinks too much. Even that's he thinking too much, he cannot sleep, stay in the king's palace. Then he left the palace. Why he left the palace? Because he thinks too much. Then the six years, he thinks too much. The result of that, he achieved the Buddhahood. There is a saying, Buddha left the palace for search of the peace of the mind. 
we left the peace of the mind for the searching of the palace. <laughs> so thinking too much is not a problem at all. But the problem is one other thing, wrong way of the thinking. We think in the very wrong way, wrong direction. So that's why we have to know the mind is like a garden. If you look at the garden, if you not plant the flower and if you not plant the tree, what will grow? So it's like a garden. If you not plant the flower properly, the unwanted grass will grow. Same thing like that mind, when we, when we don't plant the positive thoughts, all the negative thoughts arise. So we think that too much on the negative points. So that's why we have to change, the, we have to try to think on the right way, not in the wrong direction. For that you need the awareness. Avoid that what you are thinking. Aware of the, that what you are thinking. Ancient Tibetan master have the one saying, when you are with the people, aware that what you are talking. When you are alone, aware that what you are thinking. That the great master, ancient great master in Tibet, they say that. That is the way it teaches us to how to stop the thinking the unnecessary thoughts. How to stop the thinking the too much on the negative points.